hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Marlene Tengu if this is your first time on this channel you're very much welcome to my returnees thanks for coming again on today's video <laughs> we'll be doing a hot session here yes because it's going to have a part one and a part two so on the part one we'll be doing coconut fried rice So I'll be using parboy brown rice, maori marinated chicken, I did that an hour ago, chili, oil, powder, ginger, salt, the coconut oil I'll be using for this recipe. This is very important because it goes a long way to enhance the flavor of the coconut rice. Chicken stock from my previous cooking, chicken spice, and my blended coconut, sweet corn, and pea, green pea, green bell pepper, carrots, onion, maggi seasoning, bay leaves, green beans, and we are good to go. I'll start by extracting my coconut milk from the shelves by using a strainer then i proceed to washing my rice and by boiling it I parboiled my rice for 10 minutes and I feel like it's okay. I'll just wash uh, some of the starch from it. Then I recook it again, this time with my coconut milk and more spice. So in goes my stock, coconut milk and the rest of the spice. Meanwhile, I'm frying my chicken because I'm always working on time. A little tip here. I tried using already made coconut milk from the stores and it just didn't give me the exact flavor I wanted like I wasn't getting it as much as I wanted to so I, I tried using natural coconut I've used it like three times and the results I've gotten are awesome like you get the full maximum coconut flavor you want So at this point, I feel like my rice is halfway cooked, not halfway cooked, let's say three quarter way cooked. So I remove it and I pour my oil inside the pot to begin the frying process. So I begin my frying and I will start with my vegetables. I'm starting with the harder vegetables and then moving to the softer ones. Then I will add my spice, salt, maggi seasoning, bay leaves, whatever. Just adjust, adjusting the seasoning in general and that's it because I don't like ad adding more of the seasoning when my rice is already frying so I'll just do all of that right now. Because I don't want to overcook my vegetables, the frying process will take me 2-4 to four minutes and I think that's okay. I don't want to overcook my vegetables and I want to preserve the nutrients and however I love my vegetables crunchy. I'll be adding my rice into the stir fried vegetables in bits because I don't want to have a large portion of rice with unavailable 
vegetables i just love seeing a lot of vegetables in my fried rice So if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button and please don't leave just yet. We are moving into the part 2 of it which I'll be dancing Jerusalem by Master KG. You don't want to miss it. So let's party. Hi guys, welcome to the part 2 of this video. So I guess if you're at this point, you must have watched my fried rice preparation and I will do Yeah, so I know you guys must have watched this challenge. Yeah, so I will just be dancing while eating. You guys, <laughs> hopefully I don't forget I'm dancing while enjoying the meal. So I'll be dancing out here. I can't dance inside because, you know, the dance requires space. So I can't be dancing and jumping and marching through, going close to the bedroom. So I need space here. I'm out here. I'll dance right here. And uh, there's no easy but we can manage. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. Jerusalem, I kayalami, I londoloze, I hambenami, I angishilana, Jerusalem, I kayalami, I londoloze, I hambenami, I angishilana, I call an I finished the rice even before any of the video so I did not maybe dance sweet to the rice sweets 